Welcome back to Election Ed. So by this point, you probably know how to cast your vote, but it's important that you know who you're voting for. Now, this election is looking pretty familiar to those who are around in 2020, as we're set for a rematch between Donald Trump and President Joe Biden. Trump will be the likely nominee for the Republican Party, and Biden is set to be the incumbent candidate for the Democrats. It should be noted that both of them are only the presumptive nominees, however. They won't officially accept the nominations until the Republican National Convention in July and the Democratic National Convention in August. While Biden and Trump are the front runners, they're not the only ones gunning for the White House. We also have candidates running as independents or those who aren't tied to the two main parties. The candidates currently in the race include Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Cornel West, and Jill Stein. What are the biggest issues they will have to tackle on the campaign trail leading up to November? One of the biggest focuses for both candidates is the southern border, each wanting to increase its security, but both wanting to do them in very different ways. Other contested issues facing Americans include economic inflation, the access to abortion for women all over the country, but arguably the biggest issue will be how both candidates handle the ongoing wars in Ukraine and Palestine, with the vision from both parties on how involved America should be in the conflict. It should also be noted that while Trump and Biden garnered a historic number of votes during this primary season, this rematch is one that most Americans aren't really that fond of. However, even if you're not a fan of either candidate, it's important that you still vote in November. As many will tell you, this election is more important than ever before, and they would be right. Every election matters, but the White House and the presidency is an office that not only affects the country, but the world as a whole. And if you think one of the candidates is the best person for the job, then it's your duty to go out and vote to make that happen. But that's going to do it for this episode of Election In. Tune in next time so you can be the most informed voter for whatever election comes your way.